So I've started uh, building the Cessna 172 now. Uh, I've got the three fuselage sections completed and now I'm getting ready to glue them together. Uh, before I do that I'm going to cut that slice off the, a little bit, like a millimeter off of the front of each of these just to get rid of all the glue that came out and to straight make sure I have a straight face on each one um, for when I glue them together. Alright, so I got that glue drying on those joints now. And while that's drying, I wanted to show you the electronic setup that I'm going to be using. It's very similar to my other two most recent planes, those two over there. Um, so it's going to use an Emacs 3506 650 kV brushless motor with a 11 by 7 propeller. And then there's going to be a ESC, I think this is a 30 amp ESC. But that motor, it only draws like 15 amps, so it shouldn't be, it doesn't really need to be a too high of a amp or GSC. And then I'm going to use this uh, BEC from ReadyMade RC. It's a 6 amp BEC, and that's going to be used to power all of the 6 servos. And for those, I'm going to be using one Metal Geared Emac servo, and this is going to be for the elevator. And then the rest of them are just uh, plastic geared servos uh, for the rudder, ailerons, and flaps. Then I got a bunch of nylon hinges. These are going to be used to hold the control surfaces to, uh, to the wing and to the stabilizers. I also really like the views that I've been getting from those other planes over there, the FPV Bush plane and the Piper Archer. I really like the camera angle from the tail, so I want to implement that into this plane too, but I think I'm going to use a HD camera because the low resolution video from those cameras is not very good. So I've been thinking about getting like a run cam split or one of those style cameras, maybe from a different manufacturer. So then I can record HD video, and, but it also will be a, a very light camera and not too expensive. This is going to be uh, the firewall and then like the bottom piece of the, of the nose. So it's basically going to slide into this gap here and then it's going to stick out at the bottom so then I can carve it with the knife to match the shape, the profile of the, the front of the fuselage. And then the motor is going to mount on to this piece of foam. It's going to be up here somewhere. The plan is for the motor to be recessed into there just a little bit so it's not sticking out too much. So that's all for now and stay tuned for future build updates. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.